magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Welcome sa ating Growing in Faith class. Hallelujah. There's more tonight. There's more this week. God is faithful. He will continue to feed us with His Word. Praise God. Okay, let's pray. Let's start. Hallelujah. Father, once again, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, Father. We praise your name. We glorify you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you that we can come boldly to the thrones of your grace because of Jesus. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for, for, for with us tonight. We thank you for your presence. We appreciate your working in our life. Hallelujah. And even tonight, we believe that you have, you will help us tonight bring out things need to be, to be, uh, to be heard in the name of Jesus. And thank you so much again for the blood. Thank you for the utterances. Thank you, Lord. We release our faith, O oh God, to receive everything what you prepared for us tonight in Jesus' name. And Lord, on purpose, O oh Lord God, we want to get more from you tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you prepared for us tonight, as I've mentioned earlier, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And thank you for more wisdom. Thank you, God, for more wisdom. Thank you, God, for more revelation. Thank you, God, for more spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus. And we are blessed. We are blessed. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. And we are more than a conqueror. And Lord, as we continue to pray our scriptural prayer, oh God, we thank you, Father. We thank you. We have faith in this scriptural prayer that it always works in our life effectively. And thank you, God, in advance for the manifestations of this scriptural prayer as we keep on praying every day, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray together a scriptural prayer, prayer for strength in the inner man. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of my Lord Jesus Christ from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant me according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in my inner man that Christ may dwell in my heart through faith that I being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the sense what is the width and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that I may be filled with all the fullness of God now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I ask or think according to the power that works in me to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever everybody says amen amen okay so uh, dito pa rin tayo sa ating topic the righteousness so we're on series and continue to establish this talaga's heart po natin kasi nga alam natin na ang revelation if we have a revelations of our righteousness then we can go deeper in our faith and also in our relationship to the Lord no magiging deeper yung ating relationship kay Lord at confident tayo because no matter what happen mayroon man tayong mga mali na nagawa po natin but because of our righteousness because of our revelation that we are the righteous of God it won't affect our pursuit in the plan of God Okay, so ngayon, pag-aralan natin ngayong gabi, nasa heart ko ngayon, napatuloy at establish natin yung Jesus as our high priest. Uh, sinabi ng scripture that we are now the priest of God, but Jesus is our high priest. Ano ba ang trabaho ni Jesus ngayon bilang high priest po natin? So balik natin, o tingnan natin sa Amplified, Hebrew 4, verse 14 to 16 sa Amplified. Sinabi dito, Inasmuch then as we believers have a great high priest who has already ascended and passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession of faith and cling tenaciously to our absolute trust in him as Savior. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize and understand our weaknesses and temptation, but one who has been tempted, knowing exactly how it feels to be human in every respect as we are, yet without committing any sin. Therefore, let us 
Let us with privilege approach the throne of grace that is the throne of God's gracious favor with confidence and without fear so that we may receive mercy for our failures. So there is mercy when we fail and find this amazing grace to help in time of need an appropriate blessing coming just as at the right moment. So dito sa scripture na kita po natin or nabasa natin ngayon na Si Jesus yung ating high priest. Sinabi dito, who passed through heavens. No, who passed through heavens. Already ascended. So nag rise na doon na sa heaven. Siya ngayon yung ating high priest. Okay? Kaya sinabi dito, hold fast your confessions of faith and cling tenaciously to our absolute trust in Him as our Savior. We continue to really trust and totally dependent on God. At sinabi niya, Sinabi sa verse uh, 16, sinabi, Therefore, so Jesus experience, gusto ko to sa 15, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize. That's why Jesus understand our situation. Jesus understand kung anong pinagdadaanan po natin kasi na-experience niya talaga ano ang buhay as a human being. So as a human being, so experience. Lahat kayo yung nararasan po natin, he can sympathize because he experience it talaga. Okay, sinabi niya, but one who has been tempted knowing exactly how it feels to be human, he understand how it feels to be human in every respect as we are, yet without committing any sin. Na-experience niyang being human, pero hindi talaga siya nagkakasala. So, may mga temptation, pero hindi siya nagkakasala. Therefore, let us with privilege approaching the throne of grace that is the throne of God's gracious favor with confidence and without fear so that we may receive mercy for our failures and find his amazing grace to help in time of need and appropriate blessing coming just as the right moment. So, ano man yung pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, sinabi niyo, no? naalala ko si Pastor Tankard, sinabi ni Pastor Tankard, meron ako dito ang note, sinabi niya, we are spirit being having human experiences. Jesus is God, become human, and he experienced also what we had experienced as a human being, but Jesus did not commit sin. Okay, so ngayon, dahil tayo nilagtas na ng Panginoon sa pamagitan ni Jesus, kasi sinabi, hold past your confession, cling to him, na siya yung ating tagapagligtas. So, kaya ang nangyayari, ma-experience man natin yung ating human being, human nature po natin. But because Jesus experienced it already and overcome it already, we are an overcomer. That's why he understand. Kaya magkakamali man tayo, magkakasala man tayo, because Jesus overcome it already. Ano man yung mga pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay, kaya hindi talaga nawawala yung ating pagka-righteous. Kaya laging sinasabi, God is merciful and His grace. Kaya ando yung supply ni God, ando yung grace ni God to help us rise back again. Kaya importante talaga na maintindihan natin ang ating tatawiran sa Panginoon. Mercy is not getting what you deserve while grace is getting what you don't deserve. Kaya because of His mercy, we have been saved because of the grace of God and His mercy type we naligtas. Kung ano man yung na-experience natin ngayon sa buhay, we are not deserved because we are a sinner, but because of God's mercy, no, na-receive natin yung grasya na yun. So it is impossible at, or it is important to study and understand Jesus as high priest we need to understand how he stand before God. We need to understand how Jesus stand before God as a righteous. Kaya he's standing before us. Kaya lang yung sinasabi, pag nagkakamali tayo, ang natita ng Ama ay si Kristo ay nasa sa atin. Si Kristo na malini, si Kristo na anak niya, si Kristo na nagtatagumpay, no, gumawa, ginawa niya lahat. Si Kristo ang nagligtas sa atin, siya ang nakikita niya sa atin. Kaya dapat maintindihan talaga to natin na kung paano si Jesus nag-stand before us. God has accepted him. God accept Jesus because the Father accept Jesus and we are also accepted to the beloved. Kaya everything lang ginawa ng Ama kay Jesus, tayo po ay kalikit doon. And then, how he cloth, how he is cloth. The Father cloth Jesus with his power. So ganun din po tayo. Because of the obedience of Jesus, 
God gave us all his promises and blessing. Na-discuss ko na to. Because of the obedience of Jesus, God gave us. Ngayon din sa buhay po natin, we will experience the promises of God. Okay, ito. You will be amazed. Okay. God will bless us. Not because we're good. Not because we obey. Hmm, take note ha. Pastora, bago yun. Yes. Bago talaga sa pandinig nyo. God will bless us not because we are good, not because we obey. The Father bless us because of Jesus. Because Jesus obeys the Father. So lahat ng pagsunod, kaya bunga ng pagsunod ng Panginoong Jesus, tayo po ang nagbe-benefit. So, ano yung benefit ngayon na meron tayo yung pagpapala? Okay. Pastora, kung ganun, eh bakit hindi ko na-experience yung pagpapala? Okay. Sabi mo, bakit pastora? Thumbs up. Because God needs your believing. Ang kailangan lang ng Panginoon sa atin ay maniwala tayo na lahat yun ay ginawa ng Diyos ni Jesus para sa atin. Work out our believing. Because the moment you believe what Jesus did at the cross 2,000 years ago, the moment we believe what God says in the Word, the moment we believe His promises, then you will receive Ito yung trabaho natin as a believer. We have been saved because we believe God. Ang salvation po natin ay hindi dahil nasumunod tayo. Okay, tingnan natin. Okay, this is a good example. Naligtas tayo hindi dahil gumawa tayo ng mabuti. Hindi. Diba? Naligtas tayo dahil or naligtas tayo hindi sa paggawa natin ng mabuti. Naligtas tayo hindi sa pagsunod natin, kundi naligtas tayo dahil naniwala tayo sa ginawa ni Jesus at tinanggap natin si Jesus kaya tayo naligtas. Okay, same with the blessings, same with the promises of God. If we believe that this is the promise of God and we believe this promise is already available because Jesus obeys the Father, then I will receive what God promised. Okay? Kasi ganito yon. Then obedience follow. You cannot obey unless you don't believe. Believe ang prerequisite para tayo makasunod sa Panginoon. Oh, clear na to ha? Kung hindi tayo naniniwala sa mga pangako ng Panginoon, we cannot obey it. We cannot do it. Diba? Anong operation ng faith is you believe, you speak, and you act. So if you don't believe, for example, tithing, if you don't believe tithing, that God has a promise of tithing, then you can. somehow you are tithing, a sort of tithing, but you are not really, you will not never become a tither because you don't believe in tithing. Or else, okay, not example. For example, healing. Healing is already provided. Healing is already given. Healing is free gift from the Lord. Okay. But if you don't believe that it is the will of God, if you don't believe that it's already freely given, then you cannot receive it. So everything written in this book is for us. But if you will not believe, and if you cannot yet believe, you cannot receive it. So maliwanag, hindi dahil ikaw ay sumunod. But because you believe, then you act. Because you believe, then you act. So clear na? Because I believe what God said, then I will act. Ano yung act na yun? The obedience, then you will receive. Because you act. So I can't act. I can't obey the commandment of the Lord if I don't believe. So ang pinaka-bottom line dito is believe. We are already blessed because of what Jesus did. So lahat, Babalik lang tayo. Lahat titingin, hindi, ibigay yun ng Panginoon. Parang ganito, no, ibigay yun ng Panginoon because Jesus obeyed. So, lahat ng pagsunod ng Panginoon sa Ama, lahat ng pagsunod ni Jesus sa Ama, 
ay para sa akin. Hindi mo naman din pwede sabihin na hindi ka sumunod kasi naniwala ka, it will follow your action. So clear? Yun yung ginawa ni Jesus. God is not looking at you or assisting you to judge you. He is looking at Jesus, your high priest, as your righteousness. No? Ito yun. Binalik ko na yun, pero pwede. Gusto kong establish ito. Because kahit na anong, anong ginagawa natin, kahit na nagkakamali tayo, hindi yung ginagawa natin ang tinitingnan ng Panginoon, kundi ang tinitingnan ng Panginoon, yung ginawa ni Jesus para sa atin. In the eyes of God, He supplied already all our needs. In the eyes of God, you are already healed. In the eyes of God, you are already victorious. In the eyes of God, you are already an overcomer. In the eyes of God, yun yun. But our part, do we really believe? Kaya ito yung sinabi ko yung how to create a victorious 23,000. You align with God. If we can see what God sees, then you will enjoy. Kay kailangan talaga natin yung intimate relationship with God. If you can believe, if, if, kung nakikita mo ano yung nakikita ni Jesus para sa'yo, or nakikita mo ano yung nakikita ng Pinoon para sa, sa'yo, then you will enjoy. Yun yung alignment. If you can speak what God speak, that is alignment. Ma-enjoy mo talaga yung pangako ni God. Not because we are good, not because we obey, but because Jesus obey. And then, because we believe Jesus obey, they, because the same anointing, the same Holy Spirit, the same power that caused Jesus to obey God, is the same power, the same anointing that we have, the same righteousness that we have. Walang kaibahan. Equal yung righteousness. So, kaya, kung ang si Jesus, si Jesus ay nakasunod sa Ama, because He is righteous, because the Holy Spirit, because He was empowered, then, The same power, the same anointing, the same Holy Spirit, the same righteousness is in us so we can obey as Jesus did. Because as Jesus is, that's who we are here on earth. So, maliwana. Okay. Levitical priesthood versus priestly priesthood of grace. I think na-discuss ko na ito, pero balikan natin ito. The high priest proclaimed blessing. Ito yung trabaho ng high priest. Okay. Ang trabaho ng high priest ay nag-proclaim ng blessing and curses based on the law depending on whether the person has followed the law. So ito yung trabaho. Kay kapatid, now in the old in the new covenant, we are now the priest of God and Jesus is the high priest. Kaya ang trabaho natin is to declare the blessing. Kaya ano yung sinabi niya? Curse and blessing are in the power of our tongue. Bakit sinabi ng scripture that blessing and curses are curses are in the power of your tongue because God made us priest. So we have now the power to release blessing and to curse because blessing and curse are in the power of our tongue. So nakita natin kung ano yung authority natin. So this is now our rule. Sa old covenant, yung high priest lang yung Le, uh, Levitical priesthood lang But now in the new covenant We are the priest of God Tayo yung nag-a-usher Tayo yung nag-worship Tayo yung nag yung, Ano ba yung Yung mga Yung mga Kinagawa natin yan Spiritual Ano uh, Works So Tayo po na ngayon Ang gumagawa Okay The high priest Levitical priesthood Ano sinabi niya doon The high priest Grow old And eventually died When that happened, the people become afraid because they were unsure. The next high priest, I, I think I discussed ko na to, pero it's my heart na ibalik natin to. So pag namatay yung mga high priest, tatakot ngayon yung mga tao kasi hindi sila sigurado kung sino ngayon ang tatayong priest. Kasi nakasalalay sa kanila ang kanilang future because the blessing and cursing. So kung priest na yun, sumusod pang inyo, it affect the whole No, the whole nation, lahat ng tao. Ngayon, ano mangyari sa atin? Because Jesus is the our high priest. Ma-fail ka man, ma-fail ka man, it doesn't affect your life. Kaya importante na maintindihan talaga natin kung sino ang nagstan. Kaya nga advocate eh. Di ba? The Holy Spirit is that. One of the work of the Holy Spirit is advocate. He is our advocate. He is our attorney. Kaya pag, pag nagkakasala tayo, siya yung tagapagtanggol. Siya yung nagde-defend. Siya yung ating advocate. Kaya wala talaga in the eyes of God. 
doesn't change. You are perfect. You are righteous. You are blameless. You are no longer a sinner. Hindi nag-epekto sa relasyon mo sa Panginoon at hindi nababawasan yung pagpapala ng Panginoon 100%. Yung righteous mo hindi nabawasan kasi mayroon kang mali. Hindi. Okay? Ano na yun? Kung baga, sealed na yun. Okay? Yun na talaga yun, yung katuwiran natin. Not because of what we did, but because of Jesus. So, lagi tayong bumabalik. Kaya yung, yung, yung isa kong experience dati, nung hindi ko pa natutunan itong mga, na mga turo na ito, uh, pag mayroon ako mga ganong challenge, kasi narinig kong preaching, just go back to the cross. Just go back to the cross. Yun lang. Kasi yun ang naintindihan ko. Yun yung narinig ko. Kung ano yung mga challenge, just go back to the cross. Just go back to the cross. Just go back to the cross. And it reminds me, kung anong ginawa ni Jesus. So, isang ginawa ni Jesus. So, ganun din sa buhay po natin. No? Just go back. Just go back. Ano ba? Ano ang ginawa ni Jesus sa'yo? Kaya dapat ma-establish talaga sa heart natin. Ano ba ang ginawa ni Jesus sa buhay po natin? Kaya kung hindi natin ma-establish, hindi natin maintindihan, wala tayong revelation kung anong ginawa ni Jesus, kapatid, you will always be affected sa ginawa mo at sa ginawa ng kapwa mo. But if you understand, if you have a revelation of what Jesus did to you, then it no matter. No, it doesn't matter kung anong nagawa mo, anong ga- nagawa ng kapitbahay mo, anong nagawa ng kapwa mo. doesn't matter because you, you are secured in your relationship with God. You are secured in your identity in Christ. Okay? So clear na. Okay, ano pa? The high priest makes intercession on our behalf and represents all the people of God. So Jesus is the high priest. He is representing us. Kaya pag nagkakamali tayo, as I said, pag nagkakamali tayo, siya lang, okay? Pag thumbs up lang yun, namatay na ako para sa kanya. It's done. It's finished. So wala talaga, burado. Kaya wala siyang nagkikitang pangit sa'yo, wala siyang nagkikitang hindi maganda sa'yo. Amen? So Jesus came from God as a God and become a man. But he went back to God, not just as God, but also as a man representing us, the Father in heaven. So there is a man in heaven and it is Jesus. Okay? It is Jesus. Jesus came from God. He became man and he went back. Okay? And as a man. He went back as a man. Kasi kung titignan natin sa Acts, di ba? Yung mga disciples, anong yun mga disciples? Nagkita nila si Jesus, nag-ascend into heaven. At yung angel, nag-appear yung angel sa kanya, sinabi ng angel, the same God who ascended will descend. Yun yung time, babalik si Jesus. Kung ano yung pag-angat niya, babalik siya. Kaya mayroong tao sa heaven na represent sa atin si Jesus. Si Jesus nung nandito sa earth, He is 100% God, He is 100% man. The same in heaven, He is 100% God, He is 100% man because he is representing as a man in heaven. A glorified man. So clear na. Ha? So sino makikita natin? Kasi si Jesus yung pinako, si Jesus yung nag makikita natin siya in person. Kaya doon tayo dapat maging excited na makikita natin si Jesus in person. Bakit? Siya mismo ang babalik at susundo sa atin. When? Rewards in His hands. Kay kapatid, mayroong totoong Diyos na pinaglilingkuran natin, si Jesus. Amen? Naging kagaya natin siya. O, Diyos, naging kagaya natin siya na matay para tayo matubo maligtas tapos umakit dun sa heaven. Now, nasa heaven siya and just waiting. Sinabi niya, di ba? So, we'll come back sa John 14. I will come back. No? Babalik ang Panginoon. Because He prepared a mansion for us. Pero babalik ang Panginoon. Sino itong Panginoon na, bu- na babalik? Si Jesus na pinako sa cross na buhay para sa atin upang tayo ngayon ay sasalubungin niya pagdating ng panahon. Amen? So makita natin. Kaya yung dapat yung ilolong natin na makita natin si Jesus in person. 
No? Parang parang isang kapatid na wala ng matagal-tagal na alam mo mayroong kang kapatid pagkatapos ganyan excited ka na makita mo dapat ganun yung feelings natin dapat ganun yung excitement natin na mayroon akong kapatid Jesus is our brother big brother he saved us mayroon 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 akong kapatid na darating galing sa heaven si Jesus Kapatid, di talaga religious itong ginagawa natin. No, totoong Diyos ang pinaglilingkuran natin. Who will, he can sympathize us because he experienced as a human being kung ano yung pinagdadaanan niyang suffering dito sa mundong ito. Okay, so, clear? Hallelujah! So what freedom we have in Christ that He has set us free from guilt and condemnation. He has set us free from condemnation. Hallelujah. So the very presence of Jesus at the right hand of the Father is intercession. Huh? Is intercession for us. So He is interceding for us. If you say Hebrew, sinabi niya, God, He is make intercession so that those who call on Him will be saved. So, ang trabaho ni Jesus ngayon sa langit ay nananalangin para sa atin. Hallelujah! He present us to God, righteous. He present us to God, holy, blameless, valuable, and precious. Yun yung pag-present ni Jesus sa atin. He represent Himself for us as holy, as blameless, as righteous, valuable, and precious. That's who you are. Amen. That's who you are. You are righteous. You are holy. You are blameless. You are valuable, and you are precious. That's how He represents to the Father. Jesus, as our High Priest, prays the perfect prayer for us. He also prays a perfect prayer for us. He is the High Priest of our confession. That's why when we pray in tongues, Hallelujah, diba? We are praying the perfect will of God. We are in agreement with God. We are doing business with God because Jesus is praying, interceding for us, for His plan, for the plan of God na mag-manifest He is praying for perfect prayer for us. Hallelujah. So two things that the priest does, anong kailangan niyang i-remove as the superplus? Dapat as a priest, Alisin niyo mga unnecessary. Alisin niyo mga unnecessary. Amen? Anong ginawa nila? Yung mga frankincense, may mga pabango-bango, no? kung ano yung as a representing before God. But now, anong sinabi ng Romans 12, verse 1? Offer your body sa Whole, offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing unto the Lord. That is the act of worship. So every day as you lift up your hands and offer your body to the Lord, it's pleasing aroma. When you release your mouth and worship God. So yun yung ginagawa mo ngayon. Para ka na nag-offer ng frankincense, ng ano pa yun, fragrance, incense, dun sa Panginoon. As a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing unto the Lord. As an aroma to the Lord through your worship sa Panginoon. So because we are a high priest. We are the priest of God. So maliwanag na ngayon kung ano yung pagka-high priest ni Jesus para sa atin. Church, you are already blessed. You are already prosperous. God supplies already all your needs because Jesus obeyed for us. Parang mayroon akong narinig. God helps me because He loves me. God blessed me because He loves me. So lahat yun, because He loves me. Because He loves me. And because Jesus obeys for me. So lahat yun, dahil si Jesus ay sumunod para sa akin. Dahil si Jesus ay sumunod para sa akin. Hindi talaga dahil sa ginawa mo, sa ginawa natin. Dahil sa ginawa ni Jesus. Ako ay pinagpapala ng Panginoon dahil si Jesus ay sumunod sa Ama. Okay. Ngayon, eh, anong epekto sa akin yan? Because I believe. I believe. 
Dali ni wala ko na si Jesus ay sumunod. Si Jesus, ginawa ni Jesus ang lahat para sa akin. And now, ito na ngayon. Kasi nga, wala na ng wall. Walang guilt, walang shame. I have always boldness to come into the thrones of God's grace. Napansin nyo si Jesus nung nanalangin siya, nung namatay si Lazarus, ano si ba, sinabi niya, Father, I know that you always hear my prayer. And that's intimacy with the Lord. Kaya, the more we grow in our relationship with God, in our intimate relationship with God, the more you say, you will become more closer and closer to the Lord. So, hindi na talaga siya mahirap. Hindi na siya mahirap. You're not begging. You're already accessing. Lagi ka na lang mag-access doon sa grace ng Panginoon because you believe. The moment you believe, then you can access everything. Yun eh. I mean, kaya wala ng fear, wala ng worry, wala ng cares because you believe. Ano ang sinabi ng Lord? If you can believe, all things are possible. At hindi ang Diyos sinungaling tulad ng tao. Hindi nagbabago ang kanyang iniisip. At ang kanyang pangako ay kanyang ginagawa. Ang kanyang sinasabi kanyang ginagawa at ang kanyang pangako ay kanyang tinutupad. Ang tanong, do we believe? So ang bottom line talaga natin mga kapatid is believe. Okay. Ito yung love. Ang love is garments of the high priest. So, sinong high priest? Si Jesus. So, ano yung garment? Ano yung damit ni Jesus? Love. Love. So, the detailed instructions of how to make the robes of the priest, of the high priest, was written on our behalf. So, every piece speaks about Jesus and his perfection. Tingnan natin sa Exodus 24, 8-19. Kaya anong sinabi? Sa scripture, put on love. So we need to put on love. We wear. No, love is our garment. Kung love, the love garments of the high priest. Exodus 24, 9 to 18. Then Moses went up, also Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, at, as it were a paved work, of sapphire stone and it was like the very heavy heavens in clarity in its clarity but on the nobles of the children of israel he did not lay his hand so they saw god and they ate and drank then the lord said to moses come up to me on the mountain and be there and i will give you tablets of stone and the law and commandments which i have written that you may teach them so moses arose with his assistant Joshua and Moses went up to the mountain of God. And he said to the elders, wait her for us until we come back to you. Indeed, Aaron and Hor are with you. If any man has a, diff a difficulty, let him go to them. Then Moses went up into the mountain and a cloud covered the mountain. Now the glory of the Lord rested on the Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it six days and on the seventh day he called to Moses out of the midst of the cloud the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel so, nakikita. so Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain and Moses was on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights so, ano ito? Ibig sabihin, Moses went up to the Mount of Sinai 40 days and 40 nights. This was when God gave Moses the law and even gave the instructions for the high priest garment. The priestly garments, God was showing Moses, his son Jesus, his glory. So, ano yung garment na pinapakita ni Lord kay Moses? Yung glory. He was proclaiming the majestic and beauty and excellence of Jesus Christ through the garments of the high priest. So sa old covenant, Moses was covered by the glory of God. So, nirepresent yun kay Jesus. Kaya, ang old covenant is the shadow of the new covenant. So, Exodus 21, uh, 28, verse 1 to 3. Now, take Aaron, your brother, and his son with him from among the children of Israel that he, may, that he ministered to me and, as a priest. 
Aaron and Aaron's son, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar. And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother. Okay, holy garments. For glory and for beauty. So you shall speak to all who are gifted artisans, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister me as a priest. So nakita natin, literal, na mayroong damit na pinapagawa ng Panginoon para sa priest. Okay? In the Old Covenant. Okay. Ngayon, tingnan natin. So ngayon, ano yung cloth natin ngayon? Yung glory. Hindi siya literal na ngayon. Okay? God said to make garments for glory and for beauty. Let's look at the individual parts of the priest, high priest garments and see how they point us to Jesus. Sinabi dito sa Exodus 28, 9 to 11, ito yung garment. Paano ni God? Kasi si Lord, designer din ang si Jesus. Sa so verse 9 hanggang 11, sinabi niya, Then you shall take two onyx stone and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel, six of their names on one stone and six names on the other stone in order of birth with the work of the engraver in stone like the engravings of the signet. You shall engrave the two stones with the names of the sons of Israel and you shall set them in a settings of gold. So mayroong order, no? kung ano saan ilalagay yung mga stones, significant yon sa kay Jesus, looking back to a future kay Jesus Christ. So the names engraved on the stones were the 12 tribes of Israel. Kaya 6-6, no? 12 tribes of Israel. Now, in the New Testament, we are engraved on these precious stones carried by our high priest. So now, no, that day of covenant, literal. But now, okay, in the New Testament, we are now in grief on these precious stones carried by the high priest. Kaya ano sinabi kanina? God represent us, righteous, holy, blameless, valuable, and precious. Hallelujah. Praise God. Si Jesus yung nagre-represent para sa atin. Names were in grief, meaning they can't be erased and were set on gold. God represent divine righteousness. We are all righteous before God. So, tingnan mo kaibahan ng Old Covenant and the New Covenant. Lahat itong Old Covenant na to, lahat ang jaja na kay Jesus. At kasama tayong lahat doon sa ginawa para kay Jesus. He carries our name on His shoulders. Our names, God carried it in His shoulder. Shoulders speak of strength. Jesus is our strength. God carries. Diba yung sa Bible? Sa Bible, He engraved our name in His hands. At hindi lang yun. No? Yung cloth na ginawa sa Old Covenant, sa priest ng Old Covenant, high priest ng Old Covenant, the stones represent our names. God, Jesus Himself, carried our names in His shoulders and it represents strength. That's why Jesus is our strength. Diba? Ang sinabi ng Bible, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if we understand, kay kapatid, ano mang kabigatan sa buhay mo, kung makikita mo na ang pangalan mo ay nasa shoulder, kinikiri yung name mo, kinikiri ka sa shoulder ni Jesus. Praise God! And you have the strength. Ano mang challenges as a human being, ano mang challenges sa buhay na pagdadaanan mo, you have always the strength because Jesus is your strength. He carries you. No? kinikeri niya tayo sa shoulder ni Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it's not your strength. It's not your strength. It's not our strength that carries us. It's the strength of Jesus. It's his strong shoulders that uphold us. Jesus uphold us in the right hand of his righteousness. The hand. Ang ganda kahapon. Man, di ba yun? Atterance ng prayer. Come with me. Walk with me. Accompany with me. Watch and learn 
to live freely and lightly. Tapos meron pa kung other than and let my let uh, 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 let my hands carry you. Jesus is upholding our hands. Amen. He is upholding our hands. The hand of power. Kaya kapatid, once you lift up your hands to the Lord, parang inaangat mo yung kamay mo sa Panginoon at pagkatapos ang Panginoon hininawakan yung kamay mo. Kaya pagdating, napapansin yun, pag mayroong mga challenge, parang ang hirap ang worship, ang hirap yun. Kapatid, try mo yun. Sa matinding challenge sa buhay mo na parang ang hirap mag-worship, ang hirap iangat yung kamay, that's the time to lift up your hand. As a sign of surrender to the Lord, God is holding His mighty power. He's holding His power. Pag inaangat mo yung kamay mo sa Panginoon as a sign of surrender, praise God. And then maramdaman mo din yun. Tapos imagine mo that God is upholding your hands. The power of your hands. Instantly, magkaroon ka ng breakthrough. Magkaroon ka ng freedom. Kasi hindi ka nagde-depende ngayon sa strength mo to carry this problem. But you believe that Jesus carried it already 2,000 years ago. Once you lift up your hands, isinusurrender mo lahat yun sa Panginoon. Maramdaman mo talaga. Laglag lahat. Then there's freedom. Amen? Ganon kasimple yung buhay natin. Huwag nating pahirapan. Pagbatuto lang talaga tayo. Kaya yung believing. Kasi kung di ka nag-believe, you will do it. You will do it. But if you believe, then, gaano mo naman yung angat mo yung kamay mo at magpupuri ko pa pasalamat sa panggit bigat? Because you will do it because you understand what Jesus did. Kaya pag hindi mo na intindihan kung anong ginawa ni Jesus, hindi mo talaga yung magagawa. You will do your own thing. You will just carry everything hanggang isang araw, wala na, nagkasakit ka na. Kasi bit-bit mo na lahat yun na samantalang inalis na ng Panginoon sa buhay po natin. Amen? The place of rest is in Him. The place of rest is in Him, Jesus Christ, our eternal, eternal high priest. Kaya pag mayroong problema, tirich, Lord, thank you. Sa Kanya, ang totoong rest. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ha, ha, ha. Sige, tingnan natin sa Hebrew 4. Balik tayo sa Hebrew 4. Kaya si Jesus na pa rito para masaya ang ating buhay. Di ba, John 10? He came that so that He may give us life, Zoe life, abundant life, an overflowing life. If you purpose to Jesus, kung bakit siya na parito. Hebrew 4, verse 1. Ano sinabi? Therefore, since a promise reminds of entering His rest, so this is the promise to enter His rest. Let us fear lest any one of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. Kay kapatid, ang word na narinig po natin, it will not profit us kung hindi natin haluan ng pananampalataya. Kaya yun yung libadora. So hindi lang inap na alam mo mayroon kang word, alam mo, alam ko na yun. Knowing is not enough. Kahit na gaano kadami yung alam mo sa word of God, if you will not mix it with faith, it won't profit. Amen? It won't profit. At yung word na yun ay hindi mag-work sa'yo. Kaya kailangan talaga mayroon pa lang pala tayo. No, you will mix it with faith. So ibig sabihin, paano i-mix yung faith? Doon. By believing, by speaking, and by acting. You believe the word, you speak the word, you act on the word, that's how we mix the word that we heard. At yun ay magpa-profit sa atin. Sa verse 3, For we have believed, do enter the rest. For we, ay, for we who believe, do enter the rest. Kaya, Jesus, no, is a place of our rest. If we believe the word, then we rest. But if we don't believe the word, 
then we keep on struggling. We keep on struggling. We keep on trying to make it happen. But the moment you believe, the moment you believe, and you believe, you trust, you rely, you let the word work. Ang trabaho talaga natin is we just let the word to work in our life. Pero hindi sabihin na wala ka nang gagawin. Pero kung gagawin, gawin mo yung pinapagawa ng Panginoon. Gawin mo yung pinapagawa ng Panginoon. Because you believe, yung ginagawa mo, yun ang pinapagawa ng Panginoon. At yung ibang pangako ni God sa buhay mo, let the word work in your life. Okay, verse 3, For we who have believed do enter the rest, as it has said, so I swore on my wrath, this shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundations of the world. So kailan po tapos yung work? From the foundations of the world, tapos na yun, di ba? For he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day of his of this day, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. So, kailan natapos ang work na to? Before the foundations of the world. Tapos na. Kaya, the moment sinabi na ni God, tapos na, kaya kailangan lang talaga ni. So, ang nangyayari ngayon, God is just fulfilling what He promised. So, ang trabaho din natin is we just keep on believing so that we will experience what He promised. Kasi ang just tapos na siya eh. He rested na. Tapos na yung work niya. Kaya napapahinga na siya. Ngayon, ano ang ginawa? Okay? Yun na yun. Nagmumultiply na. Napuproduce na. No? Nag-work na yung ano niya. Tapos ngayon, ang trabaho naman din natin is we keep on believing so that we will experience what He promised. Kasi pag hindi natin i-work out yung believing natin, hindi natin ma-experience yung mga pangako ni God, which is tinapos niya before the foundations of the world. Maliwanag mo, di ba? For we who have believed do enter that rest as he has said. So I swore in my wrath, this shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished, kapatid, past is na yun, were finished from the foundations of the world because he rested. For he was spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in this place, this shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains that some must enter it, and those who to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience. Why? Some also did not enter his rest because of disobedience. Alam ba natin ano ba yung disobedience? Ang disobedience po hindi, ah, kasi hindi mo ginawa. Mm. Why if there is disobedience? Because you don't believe. Kaya pag hindi natin pinapaniwala yung sinabi ng Panginoon, of course, hindi natin ginagawa yon. Kaya disobedience yon. Parang lagi nyo din narinig sa akin, delayed response to what God said is disobedience. Kaya, no. Rest talaga. But the moment you do it, the moment you act on it, the moment you do what God, you obey what God said, then you enter into rest because you believe. Okay? Why? Jesus did it already sa buhay po natin. Ang ating lang talaga is magtiwala tayo. Okay, ano pa? Sa verse 7, again, he designated a certain they saying in David, today, after such a long time, as it has been said, today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Hindi ang just ang nagpapatigas ng ulo. Hindi ang just ang nagpapatigas ng puso. Tayo ang nagpapatigas ng ating puso pag hindi natin ginagawa. Nalala ko si Pastor George, Pastor George sinabi niya, your disobedience, sin, will cause dullness of hearing. The moment God will speak to us, if we will not obey that instruction, it will cause dullness of your hearing. That's why you cannot hear already from the Lord. Bakit pa siya sabihin, bakit ba siya magbibigay pa siya ng instruction, yung unang instruction, hindi mo ginawa. Kaya yun yung maghihinder. So verse 8, For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward have spoken of another day. There remained therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest, kaninong rest? Kay God. His rest has himself also ceased from his work as God did from his. Let us therefore be diligent to enter the rest 
lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. So let's continue to enter into his rest. Ano yung his rest? In his finished work. In the finished work of Jesus through our believing. Kaya pag hindi natin ginagawa, ano sinabi sa verse 14? Sa verse 11? The same example of disobedience. That's why people in the old covenant, the Israelites were not able to enter into the promised land because of their disobedience. Amen? So, ganun din tayo. We will not experience the promises of God, the blessings of God, the plan of God because of our disobedience. Amen? Hallelujah. Disobedience, kaya sinabi ng Panginoon, if you hear His voice today, if you will hear His voice, do not harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. Again, God is not the one who harden our heart. It's us who harden our heart if we will not obey the Lord. If we will not respond to His instruction sa buhay po natin. Amen? Hallelujah. So work is trying to get something and often result in worry. Ano sinabi sa verse 10? For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. So verse 14, let us therefore be diligent to enter. So dito magkikita natin work versus labor. So work is trying to get something and often result in worry. Labor is a Holy Spirit directed activity. Spending time in the word of God. So yun yun, laboring in the Lord will give us rest. Working, trying to, will cause, will result worry in our life. So how we labor, we labor in prayer, we labor in spending our time with the Lord, we labor in our fellowship, we labor in the word of God. And then it will get a good result. Okay. Labor is a Holy Spirit directed activity. Ano yun? Spending time in the Word, confessing, declaring it boldly in the throne of our Father until that rest and peace that passes all understanding rises up from within and quiets the Spirit and confronts the soul with all is well. Okay? So ito yun, how to enter. Working kasi, you're trying to make it happen and it will cause result worry. But laboring in the Lord is directed by the Holy Spirit through spending time in the Word of God, declaring, confessing. Okay? So habang declare mo yun, you're laboring, you're laboring, you're working, you're believing. And then what happened? Habang inano mo yun, nagtaroon ka na ngayon ng understanding, it rises up within you. Pagkatapos ngayon, it provides your spirit. And then it confronts the soul at sasabihin mo, all is well. Yun ang ginawa ni Aileen. Kasi si Aileen, yan. praise God. Welcome Aileen from Italy. Yun ang ginawa ni Aileen. All is well. All is well. Bunga ng meditation. Joshua 1.8. And then, dinideclare niya, all is well. All is well. So nung nagkaroon? Nagkaroon ng whitening spirit at nagkaroon ng confrontation sa kanyang soul kasi binubombard yung mind niya doon sa negative. But he keep on meditating the scripture, keep on meditating the scripture, and then nilabas niya, all is well, all is well. So ano nangyari? Kinoconfront ang kanyang soul area, kinoconfront ang kanyang mind, kinoconfront ang kanyang will, yung kanyang spirit na medyo nag-aligalaga na that's how we enter into rest. So sa mga buhay po natin, that's how hindi mo magagawa yun. Hindi. The more you work it out, you're trying to work it out, the more it will cause worry and trouble in your life. But the more you will labor, labor into the promises of God by spending more time with God, by confessing, by declaring, it will quiet your spirit because it will establish in your heart. Magkaroon ka ngayon ng understanding and it will rise well in you. And it again, it will quieten your spirit. Now, you have the power to confront your soul. All is well. 
oh my soul. Rest. Nika na magore. Because I believe all is well. Thank you, Lord. All is well. Tapat ka, Panginoon. Itong sinabi mo, Panginoon God, at sinabi mo God sa iyong salita, gagawin mo lahat mga pangako mo. All is well. All is well. All is well. So there's laboring. Amen. Yun yung labor into rest. Mayroon kang tatrabaho yun. That's spiritual laboring. Mas dito ako. Di baling matagal, basta sure na sure. Kaysa dito, pinapahirap akong sarili ko, nag-work out ako, nagtatry ako, at puno ng worry. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-work, pinu-work out ko yung mga bagay-bagay na mangyayari sa buhay ko, bakit ay nahirapan na ako, not really believing the promises of God. Or else, I'm not hearing from the Lord. Walang isa. Kaya sinabi niya, today, if you hear your voice, so God keep on speaking to us, keep, keep on speaking to us, He keep on giving us instruction. But if we are not focusing on that, kaya may pangako si God, may alam mo mo, pangako si God, meron kong design, and then you work it, you work it, you work it. Wala talagang rest. So, nasa wrong channel. So, kasi bakit? Walang rest. Bakit nililabor mo yan? Ay, bakit winowork mo yun? Because you are not really hearing from God. Kaya wala ka ngayon nililabor. Pinaprocess niyo tinawag, pinaprocess mo yun sa prayer, pinaprocess mo yun doon sa, sa, sa pang-spend ng time with God spiritually. Then, pak! Pag nag-rise up na dito sa puso mo, pak! Nagkaroon ng quietness sa spirit mo and then, pak! Confront mo yung soul mo. All is well! In Jesus' name, all is well, all is, and then you can smile at the storm. Breakthrough, yun yung rest. So, ano ang yare? You just rest because you allow God. Kaya kapatid yun yung mga yare. Ang rest kasi tumigil ka nasa sarili mo, gawa, and then you allow God to work. You allow the word to work. You allow the Holy Spirit to move. Hindi na ikaw yung nagmumove. Si God na yung nagmumove. Yun yung rest. Amen? Hallelujah. So, yun yung trabaho ni Jesus sa atin. Okay, don't work hard trying to earn your healing. Don't work hard trying to earn your healing. Labor to enter into His rest. His rest, not your rest. Ano yung His rest? Jesus rest already because it's finished. He's seated already in the right hand of God. Even the Father, I mean Jesus, the foundation of the world. So you will enter His rest. Not rest to see God. So enter Kadun by your believing. And don't work trying to work your healing. Try to earn your healing. No? Healing is part of the blessing which God has already released in Jesus Christ. Don't try to get more money. Don't try. No. You rest into his rest by laboring. Kaya ano yung laboring? Yung believing. Believing. Faith always rests because we are not struggling trying to make something happen. The payment for everything you need was paid on the cross. The payment of everything you need was paid on the cross. Kaya lahat ng mga bills natin sa 2023 was paid 2,000 years ago. Lahat yun. Kung ginawa natin ang will ni God. But if we are not doing His will, then we are the one who will pay all our bills. But if we do His will, His plan, then He will pay all our bills. Amen? So, doon pa tayo sa isang stone, sa onyx pa lang yan, yung shoulder. Let's continue. Di ba ang ganda, pinag-aralan na ito natin, pero mas iba ngayon, mas mukhang nagliliwanag masyado. Yun yung word of God, hindi nagbabago. The more na binabalikan mo yan, the more it will go deeper. Yung, yung, yung revelation ng Panginoon, yung understanding, mas lalo siyang na-establish sa atin. Praise the Lord! Ha ha ha! Sarap! Pero time na. Let's pray. 
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so much, O God, sa word mo ngayon. Salamat, O God, it inspires us and giving us a more deeper understanding, O Lord God, sa love mo talaga. This is all your love. And Lord, dalangin namin, O God, through this teaching, O God, patuloy pa namin makilala, maunawaan, Panginoon God, yung ginawa mo talaga sa cross, at patuloy namin maintindihan, Panginoon God, ano yung working at saka yung laboring, Panginoon God, na kung paano talaga namin, O God, marireceive lahat yung freely given mo na sa amin, Panginoon God, dahil sa ginawa ni Jesus Christ. Yep, and thank you so much, and I pray to God, Lord, that as we live, O dear God, in our class tonight, Lord, at this word, continue to minister, O God. Mayroon mga mga bagong naririnig, Panginoon God. I believe, O God, it will not shock us, but it will inspire us, O God, to get more understanding, O Lord God. Hallelujah to those words that we hear, Panginoon, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, and sealed, and I depend. I, I, I pray that these words that we hear, the revelation that we hear, the knowledge that we hear to God tonight, hallelujah, be sealed by your power in the name of Jesus. And continue to keep it, Lord God, hallelujah, in our heart. And we believe it will produce 30 folds, 60 folds, and 100 folds in our life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, so praise the Lord. Amen. Let's declare so, Jesus is my Lord. God loves me. And Jesus is my Lord, Satan. You are defeated. My faith is fed. My faith grows stronger. I learn how to be an overcomer. I walk by faith. I live by faith. I overcome the world by faith. I'm strong in faith, giving glory to God. Marami salamat. Thank you so much.